welcome to Das Geek. One of the things that was a big contributor to me being able to full-time switch over to Linux was having a good video editing software for the video content that I was creating. And Caden Live is just that. It is just an absolute fantastic tool to utilize for video editing. And once you get used to it, it it's so simple and you'll have a hard time going back to anything else. Before I was using Adobe Premiere uh, to do the video. So what I wanted to do is I did a video on XFCE desktop customization. I figured we could go through this video. I'm going to do all of the edits that I normally do so that you can kind of see how this process works in case you're interested in switching over to Linux and need a good video editing software. There are many more options outside of this if this doesn't have what you like, but this is certainly an option that a lot of folks like to utilize. Or if you're currently with Linux looking for a good video editor and you want to know how to do the basics, I don't do anything super fancy, but I can show you how to do some basic effects, transitions, cuts, and all of the things that will get you utilizing this tool very quickly. So let's get into it. So the first thing is adding clips in here. So you just go to this bar, you click add a clip, uh, add a title clip is if you want to add text into the video. Um, but click add a clip and then we chose this video here, which is the video I shot. And then I have just a documents folder here with some files with my intros and exits movies that I've added in. So I just drag them from this place. Once you add them, you'll see them over here. You just click and drag them onto your timeline. You can right click anywhere here and insert tracks, etc. And of course you can just grab this with your mouse and move these and they'll snap together. Now this intro that I have, I've not recorded it with a lower volume. It's really loud as you can tell. So the first thing I like to do, I just need to re-record it, really re-render it at a lower volume. But lo and behold, uh, I get a little lazy. So I just grabbed that volume. I dragged it over here as an effect and I lowered the gain down 16 decibels so that my intros a lot smoother now i need a good starting point now i know i messed up my introduction a couple times here and usually i'll try to pause in between making some mistakes of my intro when i can so that i know where to come and cut so i'm gonna click on those scissors and this is how easy cutting is i'm gonna cut to start right there i'm gonna click back on the arrow then i'm just going to you could right click and delete the selected item or you can hit the delete key and then i'm going to right click and remove space so now we go from an intro a couple times a week generally oh looks like how I, do you customize your exit looks like i cut out too much so we're gonna go and undo that and we can see where now i get asked a couple how do you customize your xfce <clears throat> oh looks like it was way over here welcome to Do looks like i didn't cut enough okay so now we'll start here and we'll get rid of all this and this you could see welcome to dust now it has a I've nice transition a times how i cuss so if you want to make this bigger maybe you want to see this video in a full screen you can right click and do zoom and now this has moved over to my second screen but in a full screen so you could really see the video um, but for purposes of editing that wouldn't be very good for you because you won't be able to see that so i'll leave that here let me move myself out of the way here along with this icon so you guys can get a better picture of the timeline and how all this stuff works over here. So if we want to increase our view of the entire, so I want to put an ending on this already. So let's go here. Here's my ending and I can just attach that on there. Um, if we want to add text I talked about, we can go up to project, add title clip, and you're going to see something like this. Now this isn't very welcoming looking, but it's actually quite powerful. We could click show background. So it shows the background and we could say, insert the text here. We could go, we could change the color here. We can add in a uh, background. If for instance, it wasn't clear or popping enough, we could do that. And then we could click this button up here so that that black text goes behind and now they'd be able to see the text. So let's say that something was on the screen like a video game or something where there's so many colors it's hard to see the text you could add a black line in there um, of course you can do animations and things through here with your text as well you can add images documents whatever you like once you click ok it's going to show up over here as a title click 
clip and then you could just drag that over top and then we can decide how long we want that to be and when we play it it will show up here in we the preview and you could see the insert text here so that's how you insert text now in certain cases if you are inserting a track let's do another video track above if you had another video clip you were running over top or an image adding an overlay image is a really important thing at times so let me grab one to show you. So we're going to add this as an overlay image. So now when we go here, well, it's way too big. It's covering everything. So what I can do is go to transform and I can drag transform here. And now that will allow me to shrink that element to something that's not so uh, all over the screen. And so that's something we could do here. But now let's say I wanted to add text over top of that. In some cases, you'll add that text over top and you won't be able to see one or the other. You won't see the text or you won't see the picture. The fix for that is to add yet another video track up above this so that there's one buffer in between. I don't know why, it's just kind of a quirk of Caden Live. And now you could go in, for instance, and go add a title clip. In addition to the social stuff that we have there, we can also add some text. And then we could drag that on here up above and then we should be able to see both which you can see we do we've got the text there we have our social element there everything showing up for when we render but i don't want any of that in there just simply showing you that as an option so over here are all of your video transitions over here is your preview over here's your timeline over here is your project files the other thing you may want to mess with is your project if it doesn't set the project to the right frames per second or for instance let's say you recorded at 30 instead of 60 etc you can see in my title it's hd 1080p 60 frames per second that's the default for mine well you can go in and you can change that uh, to whatever you want within the preferences here so let me find the project settings and here's where we can change any of those preferences for defaults mine's 1080p 60 but if I want to do 1080p 30, I just click that and we would be good to go. So that's how you can, if you start seeing your video playing weird, going faster than it should, or maybe your um, webcam footage is your mouth is moving with the sounds behind, it may be an indication you need to mess with your frames per second because you may not have recorded at the proper frames per second. Things like OBS, etc. you can set that and you could set it with your webcam you could set it with the desktop recording so you should know right when you get in what your settings are exactly so now let's go through here and do some more editing xfce you guys know i've fallen in love with xfce it's my favorite desktop environment bar none right now and so you know people are starting to take a look and they're so the other thing we could do if i felt like this needed some maybe background music or anything else we could add a music through add a clip and then we could drag it down to the audio section then you can use that volume to change it additionally if you wanted to add some more oomph to your voice you could add a compressor in there and so by default it will add some compression and you could of course do all the adjustments over here to that compression or we can just delete it out if you decide you not so let's listen to it with the compression added starting to see how awesome it is and every once in a while i'll get a question on there of how i customize xfce so if we take that off and we kind of go through that same section again, CE. Now I really didn't want to make a video on this because I don't you think I see without that compressor, it's still good audio, but it doesn't have that kind of depth to it um, that adding compression to it could. So if that was something you wanted to add, that is where you would do it there. So those are some basic things. And then rendering, of course, once you go to render, I always render here MP4 H265 and then render to file i leave the quality as is i don't mess with that stuff a whole lot that's how i use Caden live of course you know saving and everything is very easy um, we'll save this as xfce customization and that's just to save the project file within Caden live that is not going to render it that's not something you could upload to youtube to do that you've got to click the render option here so um, those are basically the tools that I use within Caden Live. Like I said, you can add 
different effects and transitions here if you want the dissolves or wipes and things like that although those can get really obnoxious for your viewers depending on what you're doing so be careful if you use those but those are there in Caden live the tools completely free how cool is that go check out Caden live those are just some of the quick ways everything you need adding text picture overlays transforming it volume changes audio fixes to make basic videos within youtube i hope you've enjoyed it leave your comments below until next time get out there and fill your brains.